What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Zeta. In the last episode, we uh, made our way to Tisa Town and we encountered some people at the lab threatening to steal Elm's Pokemon. And we ended off the episode in this route, failing to catch a Raikou, unfortunately, but I have some news for you guys. As you can see, we have a Gigalith now behind us, and I'd like to explain where he came from. So, if you guys know that our secret base, what you can do in there, uh, I believe you have to do, you can do it after you buy every single feature that you can. Um, you can press that purple crystal thing that was there, and basically you could change up your secret base and it's like a, le a level two. So like the guy that I go to to go buy this stuff has new things that I could purchase. One of those things that I purchased was a Pokey, I think it was a Pokey gear upgrader. So now I have a jukebox and the trading option, which is how I got Ronnie here up to a Gigalith. Now, Ronnie's not that much higher level than the last episode, but that was mainly because I just did the uh, the Ranger mission uh, outside of the episode. And as you can see, we have some familiar faces slash uh, new team members. So let's do a quick team recap right now. We got Ronnie, the giggle at the level 62, holding the lucky egg. I'm gonna switch train with her a little bit. Still got Sturdy, which is good. Stealth Rock, Sandstorm, Rock Slide, and Bulldoze. At Jukebox, the Porygon Z at level 82, holding the extra belt with Ma Nasty Plot, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, Tri Attack. We have Shy the Mew at level 88, holding the leftovers with Permafrost, Surf, Psychic, and Flamethrower. We have Time. The Dialga. Now, if you guys remember, we had a Dialga earlier on in the game. It died. So when I did the secret base upgrading thing, similar to how like the Dunsparce were rummaging through the cave, the second upgrade they were mischievous and other uh, different other mons that were around. So I went to click on all of them. Didn't didn't catch. In fact, I think the Dialga was the only one I caught. I think every single other one was kind of crap for both um, just how the Mon is, or, or just the typing, so we didn't bother with it. Anyways, we have Time the Dialga, level 30 with Slash Power to Metal Burst and Dragon Claw, and we have Louie the Snivy. Now, another addition to this level 2 secret base was the fact that we could uh, put a professor in our uh, secret base and upon talking to him I don't know what point in the story you have to hit to activate that but you activate Professor Oak he talks to you and he's like all right take take some starter Pokemon make sure you talk to each corner so one corner had Unova starters one corner had Sinnoh starters one corner had Hoenn and one corner had Johto and so uh, I have the Snivy here. He's level 10 with Tackle, Leer, Vine Whip, and Wrath. I would, I just like to actually use a Servine or a Superior. Uh, so yeah, and then we got Maverick, another Mon that you guys might remember from Insurgents. Uh, level 10, Tackle, Growl, Mudslap, and Waterfall for right now, and that's our team. Um, today, I don't know if any of these. I don't know if um, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. I'm I'm gonna be honest. I'm very tired. It is 8:07. Not that it's late, but I'm tired because I got out of practice and it was a hard day today. So just I need to put up a repel. So I'm going to sound dumb because I'm tired, essentially. That's what it's going to be. Oh my god, just let me run. Oh my god, I know Ronnie's slow, please. Please. You, you roared me into this. You literally roared me into... Oh. 
I don't know why people want to do this. I don't know why you want to do this. Oh, that actually does damage because we're normal typing. Alright, yeah, fuck off. So... We need Ronnie to actually gain a level so we don't run into this shit here. Because I don't know if that Loudred is like the highest level... Mon... That we can deal with. So... Oh my god, I'm sorry. I just burped like that. I, I came from dinner as well, so... Yeah. Which it was okay, I mean... It's not gonna be like Thursday night where I have to uh, go to a, a study session thingy. Oh my god! It's not like we're on uh, Thursday where I have to go to some study session thing from 6.30 to 8.30 and I will get out and have to eat a very, very late dinner. Um, because I'll basically be going from practice straight there. Um, which sucks. Um, I don't like that. I really don't like that. I don't know why he did that much damage. I am nine levels higher. Please do not do that. Uh, Surf. I think Surf is stronger than Flamethrower. Oh my god, that does nothing. That does absolutely nothing. Flamethrower, please. Okay. It's me first. Didn't... I don't, I don't think that's programmed right. Because I think me first is actually supposed to go first, and he went second. Which, I don't know how that... I don't even know how you manage that, but okay. Okay, dude. That's a bell sprout? I'm not gonna swap. We got progression to make. I don't know what the next town we gotta go to is, but we gotta go somewhere. Because... Odin's trying to be a, a big mean head, and he's over here trying to scare other dudes and keep other people from, you know, living. Because that's what villains should always do. They should exterminate everybody, so that way they are happy. You know, I think us as a human culture... We really like to gravitate towards the villains, because villains are more interesting. Oh my god! Bitch had a fucking... Mewtwo and a Deoxys. Okay, I'm just gonna, you know, cut my train of thought that I just had off for a second. So I was doing the last... Not not the act, like, um, labeled last ranger mission, but the last one I did... I fought a grunt that had... What did he have? He had a Xerneas, he had a Xerneas and some other legendary. And I'm like, can you, can you chill out? Like, I don't care if I'm 10 levels higher, just chill the fuck out. Honestly, I don't get to use Xer Xerneas that much. Like, I don't even think we encountered it in Insurgents, which is weird. Which is weird, yet we even encountered Eveltal twice. Now, I know it's a randomizer, so the odds are... The odds are always, you know, changing. This is... this is absurd. Ah, oh, how convenient. You went for a fighting type move the moment I switched into a normal type. Must be fucking nice. Watch this not even do half. That's dumb. It's actually stupid. I have to swap because... It's just gonna keep wake up slapping me. 
And now it's gonna go for a normal type move because it knows that I'm swapping. Yep. Role play. Ooh. Alright, flamethrower, that's not gonna do anywhere near. Yeah, hyper voice. What is Maloetta's ability? Pressure? Or, no, it's Serene Grace. You get Serene Grace, that's what it is. What moves the. What moves can it benefit uh, with Serene Grace? I, I can't think of what moves it could benefit by having Serene Grace. It's not like Jirachi where like you can have Zen Headbutt and Iron Head, which are both of your stabs, both have 30% chances of flinching, but with Serene Grace now they have 60. I mean, Meloetta isn't... Meloetta isn't a physical attacker by any means, so... I don't... I don't know what... I don't know what it could have. But... Oh my god, there's so many people here. Why don't you... Why, why do you look like a Lapras? Well... You see, buddy. Ooh, a Glaceon? You can one-shot a Glaceon. Blizzard. That's not super effective. It's gonna do a lot because we have no special defense. But, we should be able to one-shot you. What? What planet are we living on? What planet? I want to know what planet we're living on, because it's certainly not Earth. It is certainly not Earth. Hail. I am glad I swapped. I am so glad I swapped. But yeah, I'm tired from practice. Oh, what was I going to say? Oh, tying back to the villain thing. People in our culture, I feel like, gravitate towards the villains because their backstories are more interesting. However, it gets annoying knowing that, like, it seems like all villains' motives are people who are being portrayed as the villain. Their motives are always the same, or it's like, you know, they're doing evil because they want to exterminate humanity so that way they are happier which ha you know I can't think of something that you know makes that justifiable like what what could someone do it besides like you know let's say someone act like not accidentally but someone in a hypothetical situation, some random dude murders your parents. Is that gonna cause? Is that is the thought of you killing the entire city considered a justifiable action because you're trying to get back at the guy who murdered your fa your parents? No, that's, that's, that's really vague, you know, that's not, I don't think that's a good example, but what I'm trying to say is, like, whoa, hold up, I just got distracted by what you said. I'm wearing a bikini, where do I keep my Pokeballs? Teehee. It's a woman's secret. Chat, where do you think her balls go? I'm guessing her back pocket. Okay. Bye, Soul Rock. I don't know why you wanted to go boom, but okay. You do, you do. How do you throw Pokeballs if you are a Lapras? Did you not see the battle screen where I just, you know, slid into the the battlefield? Like. I wish I had a rope enough, big enough to cover all the dots 
on the door of that island. I really want to know what's inside. What the fuck? What the fuck did I just read? Deerling. Okay. Deerling. And we get a special attack boost. Charm? Fine with me. Fine with me. But, anyway, like, tying back to the villain thing, like, I see why people in, like, are more gravitated towards villains because their backstories are more interesting. And that's not to say, like, heroes' backstories aren't. It's just... When it comes to heroes, you really don't root for them right away. And in, in a sense, like, I feel like you... For you to... This bitch is going for Solar Beam. Be gone, Thought. But for... Like, and, you know, the biggest way I can think of about this is, like... Um... Wrestling. Like, if you watch WWE and stuff. And the one way that those guys are gonna get cheered is if the fans are given a reason to cheer them. Now, like, if you go out there and you fight off bad guys just out of the blue, it's not necessarily going to get you that reaction of, Oh my god, he's a legend! No, it's going to be kind of like, um, okay, he, that's cool that he's out here, but... What is his, what is his purpose? Whereas, like, if it's a guy, like, it, if you look at the people who are, like, the big faces, you know, like, the good guys, you, you're, you'll you know how they became such big faces, and nine times out of ten, it's, they started off as bad guys, but people grew to like them as bad guys so much that once they turned into good guys, the, the, some of the fans just could not get enough. You know, that makes sense sometimes, because it's like... There's always been moments in, like, movies and stuff. Like, I was, I remember watching... Um... Which Avengers movie was it? I don't think it was Endgame. I think it was Infinity War, where... I was thinking of, like... Some of the villains just, like... You know, they're, they're villains, but it's like... You want them to be good to fight the big villain themselves. You know, I could, I could, I probably just offended like so many Marvel fan boys or girls out there be because of how vague I was. But I've had moments where I watch like you know stuff that's supposed to be dramatic, and it's just like you see the guy who is considered a bad guy. Or maybe an anti-hero. He's not really a good guy, but he's not really a bad guy either. He's just kind of like... Um... Like, he's perceived that he could be the bad guy, but he kind of comes in clutch when the time is right. Something like that. I mean, those happen in, like, Pokemon games all the time. Like, N, when you meet him, he's, like... Kind of considered the bad guy. And then when you uh, actually, like, you know, if you play Black and White 1, he's considered the bad guy until about the very end. But in Black 2, White 2, he's a good guy. And that's because of the actions that happened in the previous game. I don't know, I feel like I'm rambling at this point. I feel like what I'm saying makes sense in my head somewhat, even though my head feels kind of foggy. It just, it just is just is. Reversal, that's doing nothing. I just want to make it to the... D Dorjin. Dorjin. I just want to make it to the next town, okay? I want to make it to the next town so I can end the episode, go shower, go do homework, and then go to bed. Because going to bed... is nice. Pants here. Dude, 
dude, I'm so tired. At least now I'm an 8 a.m. now. I just have to get up about nine or I could get up at nine or so. And then work on stuff before class and then go to class at 10.30. Okay, what's coming out? Mel Tank? Is Mel Tank? Mel Tank's more physically bulky, right? 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 Yeah, you already know. Bop. That's not a one shot, but. But. Oh, I've. You almost got me. I wonder. I could look that up. I wonder what Porygon Z's base speed is. I wonder if running Timid is better than. Well, Modest hits harder. But do you need a Modest. Do you need modest and download? The door is wedged tight sh tightly shut. There's a hook on the door that a rope could loop through. Maybe the door could be open with a strong enough rope. So we need to look for a rope. Beautiful. That was absolutely amazing. Okay, what is this? Jesus. I've been swimming for years. You're just a novice in, in the ocean. Well... Oh. Dude's really mad. I'm not at full health. Should I be scared? Chat. Um... I should actually be scared of sheer cold, if anything. I don't think blizzards are, is what I would be worried about. I think sheer cold would be the one thing I should be worried about. I'm not for reflect. Idiot. Idiot. Dummy. Stupid head. Alright. So, I'm gonna full- I'm actually gonna full restore Ronnie to full. I- I wish I could stay in and get that nice experience from killing an Articuno, but... It's not killing- that's not the case, unfortunately. Uh, can flamethrower? Yeah, flamethrower. Actually, he's got pressure. I don't know if flamethrower is gonna do. Oh, it's a two hit KO. That's good. And we get the burn. Not that we needed it or anything. That does ninety. That's kind of nuts there. And you know what? I'm not even gonna waste my. La I'm not even gonna use my last flamethrower. I'm gonna just save it, just in case. I'm taking my shoes off because my fucking feet hurt. Oh my god, they hurt so bad. Oh. Dude, imagine all that experience Ronnie would have gotten if he killed. If he had killed. A Articuno that was, what, 12 levels higher than he was? Imagine. That would have been amazing. Some things aren't just meant to be. Alright. Palpatote. Like, look at look at the levels. It's starting to creep up again. They're starting to creep up again. I don't like that. At all. Nose pass. Uh, don't have a. I don't really have a reason to swap. Ice beam. That should. That should definitely bring him down sturdy. Oh, he just doesn't have sturdy. What do you have, Magnapole? Execute? No, I don't need to swap. Oh, excuse me. I'm a nasty person, I know. How very unprofessional of moi. Ice Beam, that's gonna one-shot. I don't know what was coming in. I wasn't paying attention. Oh. Well. Oh, he lived. I'm surprised.
Well, that's fine. Seems you weren't not you were not the novice after all. No, I'm probably still a novice at swimming. Just not at battling, because you know, your boy is a fucking your boy is the champion of the Vesrin region. I don't know why I couldn't remember the name, but the Vesrin region. Is this a this can't be a different route. I mean it 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 could be a different route. I don't think it is though. Darmanitan. Alright, listen here, buddy. You go for superpower right now. Or hammer arm. Same thing. Speed dropped. Uh, I don't think that's gonna make much of a difference. I don't know if he's gonna I don't think he's gonna die from this. Yeah, I didn't think so. Um. Alrighty then. That's kind of awkward. It's just a little awkward. Super. Why did you go for that? Why did you go for that now? He's 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 in my head. He's in your head. I don't know how how much am I getting back from leftovers. Am I gonna be at full after this turn? I'd like to think I would be anyway. Oh my, really? You can just level up. Let's send out a Grump Pig. Alright, I'm definitely gonna get a special attack boost from this. plot. I'm gonna nasty plot this turn. Psychic, that's gonna do... Oh! Uh, that's eh, damage. Do get the one shot, which is, we should, because, you know, we're plus, plus two. Last month's a ghastly. Uh, I can stay in. I don't think I should be scared of this thing. Mainly because he dies. Now I'm too tired to think straight. I, I feel that. You, you have dumb bitch moments when your mind isn't there. You're there, but your mind isn't. this? Hmm. I'm not seeing the significance in that, but okay. Whatever. Oh! We got a cave. Is this where we need to go? Or is this just a cave? I feel like this is just a cave. Let's do it! <laughs> Why do I feel like when I... Like, she said that. Let's do it! Swimmer Dedene. Okay. Interesting. Crobat? Hate? He didn't go for an attacking move. Yeah, as long as I can get a two-shot with a rock slide, I think we're fine. Yeah, I have no reason to run away. Now, if I was out of rock slides, I'd be a little bit more concerned. I'd be like, oh my god, we got 10,000 experience from that. Whew. Can we can get an encounter? 
no. I said no. Like, I don't think you heard me the first time. No. Get the funk get the fucking hint, Ditto. No. That was a waste. Imposter would have been nice. Possibly. But I don't know. I'm not re I wasn't really feeling Ditto. Oh my god, imagine if we got an Arceus. We could get... I don't know if they saw all the plates. I don't... I don't think they do. But, if they did... We could have any typing we wanted. The freedom. The freedom of having any type that you want on... Or any type that you might need on your team. Now, albeit, you would need judgment for that to really help you. Nah, I mean, you wouldn't need judgment. You just need the right moves for an Arceus at that point. Why did I go for... Am I okay? Am I okay? Are you... Hey, hello? Hello? Up there? You okay? I don't think so. Sir should definitely kill. No? Why? Why, why? why would you do that? You, Chimaka, are you good? You good, bro? You need to talk. I know I used the second type move on you, but that doesn't that doesn't mean it was the right move. Because it wasn't. Nasty plug. I'm getting, I'm getting convinced that he learns Aorus here at like a hundred. Which is upsetting me. Because, why? <laughs> why would you do such a thing? I don't even know what level I want to get Ronnie to before I take the Lucky Egg off of him and put it, or off of her, my bad. My, my bad. And put it on like Dialga or something. Psychic? Uh, that's gonna hit us. That's not gonna hit sturdy, actually. I don't expect that to kill. No. We're at a standstill now, buddy. At a standstill now. This route is taking fucking ages to get through. I know I'm battling everybody, but this is taking ages to get through. It has been 33 minutes. We have still not made it to the next town yet. Last month of Throw. Will Throw die to a Psychic? He better. That's all I'm saying. We are 13 levels higher. It is Stab and Super Effective. 14 levels higher. It is Stab and Super Effective. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you. Oof. Oh my god. How many more fucking people are there? I I'm seriously gonna move forward just to see. So there's that guy. There's another. It looks like two. Alright. I have a super rare Pokemon. I hope you're ready to battle because I'm going to destroy you. You better have one. I swear to God. You said you have super. You have a super. You have two. Liar. Cacnea. That's not rare at all. That's pretty fucking common, actually. Hey, Della update. You know, I'll take that into consideration. Remind me later to update my shit. Need alarm, buddy. Buddy, stop that. Yeah, I don't know what level I want to take the lucky egg off of Ronnie because Ronnie's gonna.
I don't know. Heliolisk. No, fuck the other guy. We're just we're gonna move on after this person. Alright, we're even, basically, so. Try attack might still kill. No, it doesn't. He charged to go for quick attack. Power play. Maybe if Heliolisk had an ability... I mean, it does get stabbed from quick attack, so... I don't know what I'm trying to... I don't know what it, why I would be suggesting that it get an ability that's like pixelate or aerialate. Alright, Dorjan City. We're gonna explore it, just so we can end off the episode. Or we can start the next episode with some action. So let's let's just let's just fucking do it. Let's just get into it. What do you have to say? Dorn is such a weird place. It's cool. It uses quantum mechanics and other strange concepts to put all different buildings in the same place, same the same place in space. To change the building you want to visit here in Dorjan, press the appropriate button on the sign over there. What? There's a small list of buttons. What with buttons next to each name? Press which button? Um. What the hell? What is this sigil of doing here? Doesn't seem very happy. It's probably worded out by the stream mechanic on how the city works. Shit, I would be too. Like, imagine just pressing a button on, on a sign and saying, you know what? I'm gonna go home. And imagine everything in front of you, like, in front of you right now, disappeared and your house is just right there. Like, They're talking about D Tobias. Uh, I'm scared. I don't want to fight him. Um, what if we, like, die? I mean, I don't think we will. I mean, unless the fucking levels are... Stupid. Of course. Alright, what, uh... There's buildings. Alright. Um, let's put house one first. House one, what do you have? All right, not gonna lie, that it's kind of weird. I'm I'm weirded out by the fucking Amoongus. Shh, Ryathan's talking. We're talking about a rebellion. Look, now really isn't the best time. Yeah, you got a bunch of fucking tips in your house. I like how this fucking Sigilith is just flying around, he's just like, he's, he's pissed, but like, okay. Now they got a bunch of sun currents. Greetings, have you challenged the Hall of Victor? No, I haven't. I wouldn't believe you if you said you won twice, it's too good of a trainer. Aren't my sun current adorable? You can have one if you like, just battle one, just be careful though, they're fairly low level. Uh, what the fuck? Wait, can I fight all of them? Huh. I'm not gonna bother catching you, but... Huh. Do they stay the same? Curious now. I wonder if they. I wonder if they all stay the same. If they do, that'd be kind of sick. Oh no! Let's check the Meloetta one again. They don't. That's kind of weird. The Sunkern was the same about a minute ago. You might want to get your Sunkern checked out. Press house three.
My girlfriend and I are staying indoors in the city for our honeymoon. It's really weird staying in these quantum houses. I'm not really sure how I feel about it. Yeah, I would find it weird if my house just disappeared. Um, with me in it. So, I don't know where I... Uh, I don't know. Do phones work in the quantum realm? I'm not sure. Let's pull up the Hall of Victors. What does it look? Oh, okay. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to go to the wiki, my best friend, and we're going to search. That's Hall of Victors. Oh my god, can we not? Sitchell Hall. Oh my god. He is... Okay. Um. Okay. So I just spoiled myself with levels. However, I think it's safe to say I don't know. Let me save real quick. Because if we go in there and there's trainers, I won't be as worried. Fuck this shit, I'm out. I think... <laughs> uh, what do I do? What do I do? Do I grind? I have to. Just so you guys are aware, his highest level is an 86. So... I mean, I can look, I can look real quick at Aroma region. Are their levels lower? Because to be honest, if they're out, or if they're lower, I may just go here. Okay, there's nothing in this town. I know I'm wasting a lot of time. I'm just trying to see. I'm just I'm just trying to see. I guess I can look at Route 1X. That's a spoiler. But What what are the levels? <gasps> huh? Whoa, 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 hold, hold on one second. It, the second read is under this, uh, yeah. It's accessible after the completion, oh. Oh, oh. 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 That's, um... That's interesting. I'm going to end off the episode here. Uh, I'm going to do grinding in between episodes. I'm going to get... <sighs> I think I'm going to have to get Ronnie and Jukebox up to 90. And that's going to be... That's going to have to be the team going in. And the other three are just going to stay there for right now. So, yeah. If you guys did enjoy this episode of Zeta, please do leave a like down below, comment, subscribe as well as follow the social media on your right. Um, don't forget to look in the description at, and follow Sue's Range Twitter as well as uh, if you want to play the game yourself, you can go down there and download it for yourself. I'm going to get out of here because I'm tired and it's been a long enough episode. 
Bye-bye.